all right i am back now my hair is clean it's so fresh and so so clean i rinsed my eyebrows off they're looking all right i gotta shape them up a little bit i pluck my eyebrows myself i haven't really found anyone that i trust to do my eyebrows just yet i don't really care for them being razored because <clears throat> it grows back like face double <laughs> Um, all right, so here we go. I washed my hair with my Organics Coconut Milk Shampoo and my Cream of Nature Regular former Formula Mixture, which was just, uh, just felt so good. And um, just to let you know, when you wash your hair or anytime you have to put any type of water in your hair, please always remember hot water is not good for your hair and when i say hot i mean like hot hot water well of course you can only take it up to a certain point because your scalp has a different sensitivity but when you wash your hair when you're rinsing it always use it um get it to a temperature that's as cool as you can stand it it's always better for your hair always always better it's just like when you wash your clothes when you wash your clothes if you wash them in cooler water or colder water it's better for the clothes um, it's also more energy efficient. I'm big on energy efficiency. All my light bulbs in my house are um, energy um, energy saver bulbs. They're all you know energy efficient, um, and it's really made a difference in my electric bill. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Very, very, very big difference I noticed in my bill. But back to the hair. So my hair's clean. Feels good. It's still just as soft as it can be. It feels so good. It really does. Um, I just, I never thought that I would have this much fun being natural. I never thought I'd ever go natural, but hey, I dared myself. It wasn't, you know, something big like that. I just dared myself to see if I could do it. And it actually turned out to be a bigger deal in the end than I had actually uh, anticipated. I'll probably make a video about that too. So now what I'm going to do is, um, but other uh, treatment conditioner that I normally use um, from my Zani, I ran out of my, HT, my H2O. Um, I ran out of that, so um, until I can get some more, I'm actually going to be using what I have, which is my Elastic UP Intense Fortifying Hair Conditioner, Maximum Moisture. Um, I used to use the relaxer in my hair. It did pretty good, but um, ultimately I loved uh, Vital. Vital Sensitive Scalp Mo, Mo Body. That was a great relaxer for my hair, but you know, I'm not knocking anyone who still relaxes their hair. If you do, I mean, that's what you do. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I cho I've chosen to go natural. I would recommend it to everyone if you can. You know, people say to me all the time, oh girl, I, I couldn't do it. Child, I just, I couldn't do that. Ain't no way. And I said, okay, you're probably the same age as I am, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older, and you've probably been relaxing your hair just as long as I had relaxed mine. Therefore, when was the last time you actually tried to let your hair grow out naturally and try to work with it in its natural state? So you, you know, and most of them will say, you know what, you are so right. I never tried it. And I say to them, because you've never tried it, you really don't know whether or not you can do it. I would suggest try it. If you don't like it, you can always go back to relaxing it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make a whole another video about my whole, you know, what this m has meant to me. But in the meantime, okay, like I said, I'm using my Intense Fortifying Hair Conditioner from Elastic QP. Their products are not really that expensive. They're pretty good. I like them. Um, and I'm also going to use the Elastic QP DPR11. Deep penetrating remoisturizer. Um, my hair right now it doesn't feel dry at all. It doesn't feel damaged or broken at all. I do have some spots up here from when I was wearing my ponytail that are kind of short, but um, I actually um, that's my fault. That wasn't due to you know the condition of my hair. So I'm going to use these two conditioners in my hair. Um, this one is a lot thicker, of course. Why do, I can't get this right to save my life to make y'all so y'all can okay here we go. <laughs> Bring it closer to the camera. Um, I'm gonna use this. Um, feels you know nice. It's very creamy. It's not real. Um, it's um, actually kind of thick. 
you know, it's thick, like pudding. Yeah, it's like pudding, like vanilla pudding, like banana pudding. And um, the Intense Fortifying Hair Conditioner has like a regular consistency, like any other conditioner that you pour out in a bottle. It has its thick moments as well. But, um, see? So I like to put this together in my hair. Um, it works pretty good. Works pretty good. And you don't, for this I realized that I really don't need to use a lot because I actually should have just mixed this in a bowl. But sometimes I can do things so backwards. My father used to tell me that um, I was backwards because I'm left-handed. All the left-handed, all the left-handed, all the left-handed, all the left. Um, if you're left-handed, shout out to you, sister. Um, but my father used to tell me something was wrong with me because I was left-handed. He said back in his day, if you were left-handed, people looked at you funny. <laughs> the Elastic UP Intense Fortifying Hair Conditioner actually smells like banana. I'm not even gonna lie. And a little bit, the uh, DPR 11 smells like banana too. Um, so it does give you a nice, nice, you know, nice scent. I like it. I like everything I put in my hair right now. There is one product that I have used in my hair that was a leave-in conditioner that I cannot, I just don't, I didn't like it. And um, for you, it might work. For me, it just didn't. And it was um, Parnevoo. Um, I always wanted to try their products because, you know, their leave-ins and all of that. And I thought they might be good for my hair. But the Parnevoo seemed to be really, for a leave-in conditioner, it was so heavy. And it just weighed my hair down. It was really